Welcome to Recap King. In this video, we will explain and soon the darkness. This movie tells the story of two American girls on a bike trip in a remote part of Argentina. Their vacation turns into a disaster when one of them suddenly disappears. Can the two girls get out of the village? Let's find out in and soon the darkness. And soon the darkness begins by showing a woman who is being held captive somewhere, begging to be released. It is not known who the woman is and who is holding her captive. The scene then switches to showing two female tourists, Stephanie and Ellie are biking in the territory of Argentina. The two of them had been on vacation for almost a week and decided to return to their country the next day. Before leaving, the two female tourists plan to stay overnight in a remote village, where there is a leaflet on the wall reporting the news of the disappearance of a woman named Camilla. The village is near the waters that form the border between Argentina and Paraguay. In the border area, there were many rumors about women who mysteriously disappeared and were never found again. Long story short, Stephanie and Ellie decided to stay at a simple hotel that looked comfortable enough and the rates weren't too expensive. The two of them then entered their room and cleaned themselves up. Since it was their last night in the country, the two decided to have fun at a bar not far from the hotel. In contrast to Ellie who seemed to be enjoying the atmosphere in the bar, Stephanie actually looked a bit uncomfortable because basically, she didn't really like being in a crowd. Ellie suggested that she be more open with other people and start chatting with a guy who had just entered the bar. Ellie suggested this because she seemed to have interested a man with curly hair named Chucho who had been watching them since their arrival at the bar. It didn't take long for Ellie and Chucho to get to know each other, and even flirt with each other until it got more intense. Stephanie, annoyed at her friend's behavior, couldn't do anything because she was too shy to approach a man first, unlike Ellie. Moreover, upon closer inspection, the man who had just entered the bar didn't seem to want to be disturbed and just wanted to be alone and enjoying the loneliness in his soul. However, not long after Stephanie observed the mysterious man, Ellie suddenly disappeared with Chucho. Frankly, Stephanie panicked for a moment. She rushed out looking for Ellie, and how upset she was to find Ellie having fun making out with Chucho. Feeling increasingly annoyed, Stephanie then returned to the hotel and tried to sleep. But before that, she warned Ellie to hurry back to the hotel because they had to catch a bus that left at 8 o'clock the following day. Stephanie fell asleep as soon as she returned to her hotel room. But she woke up when the alarm clock on the table was 3 in the morning and Ellie hadn't come back yet. Suddenly Stephanie panicked and went back to the bar. She found Ellie still in the same place. Without thinking, she immediately dragged Ellie back to the hotel. Chacho, annoyed because his worldly pleasures are disturbed, then chases the two women to their hotel room. Chucho banged on their bedroom door angrily, but it didn't last long because a man approached Chucho and chased him away. Stephanie peeked through the curtains and realized that the mysterious man she had seen at the bar was actually staying at the same hotel as them. It turned out that he was also the man who had kicked Chucho out. Due to an unpleasant incident in the early hours of the morning, Stephanie and Ellie woke up late and missed the bus that only came once a day. They tried to catch the bus by bicycle, but the bus was going so fast that they missed it. Because they had already missed the bus, both of them had to wait until the next day to get on the same bus and the only route in the area. They then decided to cycle to a nearby waterfall tour to relax and enjoy an extra day off. Even though it was called a tourist spot, no other visitors were there besides the two of them. Because it was quite lonely, they chose to just sunbathe by the river. While relaxing in the tropical sun, Ellie utters a few words that offend Stephanie by mocking her as an idiot, because she has not been able to move on from her ex-boyfriend who was clearly caught having an affair. Ellie may have meant well, but she chose such a direct and outspoken sentence that the two of them got into an argument. Stephanie irritated and left immediately leaving Ellie alone. It was late afternoon when Stephanie, feeling guilty for leaving her friend alone, decided to head back to the falls and pick up Ellie. Near the waterfall, Ellie, who sensed that someone was watching her, then packed her things and sent a text message to Stephanie that said she was sorry for offending her and asked her friend to meet her at a cafe near the hotel. However, before Ellie could get out of the waterfall tourist spot, she was suddenly attacked by someone behind who then kidnapped her. On the other hand, Stephanie had arrived at the cafe Ellie was referring to couldn't find her there. Stephanie accidentally meets the mysterious man who kicked Chucho out at the hotel, introducing himself as Michael. Because she couldn't find Ellie at the cafe or at the hotel, Stephanie then called Ellie, but there was no answer. She then took the initiative to look for Ellie's whereabouts at the waterfall. But apparently, Michael followed her to a waterfall tourist location by driving a car. Arriving there, Stephanie who began to suspect Michael, then asked why he followed her. Michael replied that he just wanted to help Stephanie find Ellie's whereabouts. Wanting to focus on finding her friend, 
Stephanie didn't ask Michael further and called Ellie again. A cell phone rang from behind the bushes, which turned out to be Ellie's cell phone. After finding Ellie's belongings still there, an increasingly anxious Stephanie immediately called the local police to report her missing friend. Not long after, a local police officer came to the waterfall's location after receiving a phone call from Stephanie. The cop was named Calvo and it seemed that he and Michael already knew each other. Stephanie then explained the chronology of events before Ellie disappeared and showed the policeman Ellie's photo. Seeing Calvo's behavior, he did not seem too surprised to receive a report of the disappearance of a tourist in his area of authorization. Sure enough, Calvo said that in the area there have been many cases of missing female tourists. However, he could not do much because he was only authorized to regulate the situation in the area, while criminal cases would be handled by the central police in the city. Calvo then told Stephanie to go to the local police station to officially report Ellie's disappearance so that he could send his files to the central police for follow-up. After that, he asked Stephanie to wait to hear from him. Stephanie, who couldn't stay silent waiting for news from the police, then tried to find Ellie's whereabouts by asking the villagers. But strangely enough, everyone just walked away when she tried to ask them about Ellie, as if they didn't want to interfere or were hiding something. While walking through the village, Stephanie accidentally met Chucho who was walking not far in front of her. Seeing Stephanie's figure, Chucho immediately ran away, even dropping the groceries he was carrying. Seeing Chucho acting strangely, Stephanie then chased after him. But Chucho ran so fast that she lost track of him. Feeling a little desperate, she finally decided to return to the hotel. Stephanie, who still harbored suspicions about Michael, then sneaked into the man's room which happened to be unlocked. When Stephanie searched Michael's belongings, she found a bracelet that was very similar to the one Ellie was wearing. She immediately took the bracelet and left Michael's room. Stephanie immediately went to meet Calvo who was sitting casually with a man. She reports about finding Ellie's bracelet in Michael's bag and asks him to investigate Michael. Calvo tried to calm Stephanie who looked panicked and said that he would consider Stephanie's report and would start gathering evidence regarding Ellie's disappearance. Dissatisfied with the performance of the local police, Stephanie then decided to steal the hotel owner's car to find Ellie. She accidentally saw Checho passing through the village streets on a motorcycle. To start the search, she decides to follow Checho. After trailing Checho for a long time, Stephanie loses track of him when he enters a closed area at the end of Argentina. The area looks like a dead city that has been abandoned by all its inhabitants due to burning. Stephanie, who was desperate, immediately barged in there and explored the area searching for Ellie's whereabouts. Unexpectedly, she met Michael whose movements looked so suspicious that it made her very frightened. Stephanie then confronts Michael by showing the bracelet she stole from Michael's bag, but Michael denied that he was Ellie's kidnapper because the bracelet belonged to his girlfriend, Camilla. Michael tells that he is also a tourist and his girlfriend disappeared while they were on vacation in this area. He has reported Camilla's disappearance to Calvo, but there is no clarity regarding Camilla's whereabouts until now. After hearing Michael's explanation, Stephanie felt even more frustrated because she was afraid that Ellie would end up like Camilla whose whereabouts were unknown until now. Stephanie and Michael then continued their search in the abandoned area by splitting up. After parting with Stephanie, Michael was visited by Calvo who reported that Michael and Stephanie's report had been responded to by the central police and they would deploy personnel to look for Camilla and Ellie's whereabouts. Meanwhile on the other hand, after searching for quite a while, Stephanie finally found the motorbike driven by Checho, parked in front of an old building located not far from the water area. Stephanie sneaked inside and found Ellie who was being held captive by Checho. Stephanie then tries to distract Chucho by turning off his generator to support his activities, mostly using electronic equipment. When Chucho checked the generator, Stephanie went straight to the room where Ellie was being held and freed her. The two then fled, but Chucho soon realized their escape and immediately chased after them. Ellie managed to immobilize Chucho by hitting his head, but it was only temporary. Chucho then got up and went back to chasing the two female tourists. Stephanie felt saved when she saw the police car from a distance and was speeding towards them. But on the other hand, Chucho manages to catch up to them and tries to catch the rebellious Ellie. Chucho, who was furious because his plan to kidnap Ellie had failed, then pushed Ellie so that she fell and hit her head hard on a rock. Immediately, Ellie died. Stephanie immediately cried hysterically because of the sudden and unexpected death of her friend. Calvo immediately got out of the car and secured Chucho. Calvo then asked Stephanie to get into his car but he locked Stephanie in the car and it turned out that Calvo and Chucho had conspired. Stephanie realized this when she found Camilla's passport in Calvo's car. Apparently Calvo and Chucho are the gang that kidnapped the female tourists who were vacationing in the area. 
Not long after, Michael who was following Calvo finally arrived there and pointed his gun at Calvo after knowing what really happened. However, Calvo tries to strike a deal with Michael in which he offers Camilla in exchange for Stephanie. Michael, who almost gave up on losing his girlfriend, agreed to the deal. But as it turned out, the deal was just Calvo's ruse and he shot Michael dead straight away. Long story short, Calvo and Checho took Stephanie to the waters near the border between Argentina and Paraguay by boat. There, was waiting for a man from Paraguay who had made a transaction with Calvo. It turns out that all this time Calvo has been practicing human trafficking by taking advantage of female tourists visiting his area. Not only that, he had also threatened the entire village to shut up about the crime he had committed so that no one dared to say anything when Stephanie asked them where Ellie was. Stephanie, who was about to be traded by Calvo in place of Ellie, tried to free herself even though her hands were tied. She then attacked Checho and managed to untie her hands, then swam towards the river bank. However, Calvo who realized this, immediately chased Stephanie and managed to recapture her. Calvo then dragged Stephanie and took her to an old man who was none other than the man from Paraguay who had paid a lot of money to get Stephanie. Because she did not want to be sold, Stephanie then rebelled and managed to escape from the two men. Even she managed to kill the man from Paraguay. Stephanie then continued to flee to the village only home to ask for help. However, when she asked for help, the man refused to open the door at all and was killed by Calvo who was also there. Stephanie immediately ran and tried to break into the house to hide from Calvo's pursuit. But again Calvo was able to find her and drag her out. Not giving up, Stephanie tried to fight Calvo with all her might, until the weapon the man was carrying was thrown to the floor. Not wasting this opportunity, Stephanie immediately grabbed the gun and shot Calvo dead. The film ends by showing Stephanie walking with limp steps down the street on the border of Argentina and Paraguay, when the sun has not yet fully risen. A car was seen speeding towards her and Stephanie, traumatized after experiencing a series of terrible events last night, then took a medium-sized rock and prepared to attack the driver of the car who might try to kidnap her. But the car that came turned out to be a Paraguayan police car. A policewoman immediately took Stephanie who was very shocked and crying hysterically for all the bad things that had happened. 